you don't even realize the pervasive impact chemical and biological engineers have on a daily basis. Anything you look at, taking raw materials and turning them into a greater refined good, something that has uh, economic and monetary value, is not an easy task. There's a reason why it's one of the toughest curriculums, but it's also one of the broadest curriculums. I actually chose Montana State over quite a number of College of Engineering schools that I was considering. Um, among them, Ivy League schools, a lot of the prestigious universities. And what it really came down to for me, I think, was the opportunity that Montana State provided. Service learning projects have been especially rewarding that would also be moving towards ultimately a publication in a scientific journal, which for me is a, a huge personal asset considering I'm moving forward into graduate schools and looking to apply in medical school. I do a lot of work related to metabolic engineering. So we study all different types of bacteria, some algae, um, and try and figure out what's going on inside of them that we can manipulate to boost their productivity. So once we learn those things at a small lab scale, we can scale them up to big environmental, industrial, medical scales. Every problem in our modern world is so complex, there's so many different layers to it that working with other disciplines just becomes absolutely necessary. What's been great for me, uh, especially working in Engineers Without Borders, is this is a student organization with you know, 60 or 70 students. About half of them are engineers and the other half are from all across the campus. And the color that they bring to our conversations, the depth that they add to, uh, to our problem solving, that's just really valuable and adds a lot of depth to your education. And it is honestly what prepares you to interact in the real world. What MSU really has going for it is the smaller classes, the more intimate interactions with your professors. Um, we have in the chemical and biological department a banquet every year where we get to just chat with our professors, learn about what's happened in the past year. And um, I think that closeness fosters a lot more comfort, which allows us to exchange a lot more information, more ideas, more opportunities. I basically chose chemical engineering because I wanted to be challenged and I knew that there were a lot of different career paths that you could take if you chose chemical engineering. And MSU has just exposed me to so many different avenues of maybe industrial work, going into the field, or going into research, but by seeing all those different opportunities, it's really clarified my decision to go into research, to go to grad school. What sets MSU apart is that you have an opportunity to get into a lab and work with a professor your freshman year on your own project. And that's just something that you can't find everywhere. My sophomore year, I went and talked to a professor and it was immediately just assigned to a research project in the Center for Biofilm Engineering. I wasn't working under a grad student. I wasn't cleaning out test tubes. I was trying to figure out how to create microbial microarrays on slides. I think that a lot of the research that chemical engineers do may seem like a small experiment, but a lot of the evidence that we obtain from doing these experiments can be applied to so many different areas. Chemical engineers don't just make gasoline, they make medical supplies, drugs, environmental solutions. So I think in the future we're going to see a lot more chemical engineers contributing to the growing issues that our nation has with energy and with um, a bigger older population, so medical wise. Um, I think those are the two biggest ways we're going to be helping people in the future.